Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, we're going to talk about Input Box, how to use the Input Box function in Microsoft Access to prompt for user input. For example, we'll use it to get a manager password. Today's question comes from Nasser in Baltimore, Maryland, one of my Platinum members. Nasser says, I have a few forms in my database that have some sensitive information on them, like employee payroll data. Is there any way I can password protect just those forms? Well, yes, you certainly can. The easiest way to do that is to pop up an input box where you ask the user to type in a password. Now, Access doesn't have built-in user-level security like it used to back in the old days. In my security seminar, I do teach you how to set up individual user logons and you can set permissions for everything they can access in the database. But if all you want is a simple manager password for yourself or maybe one or two other people and you wanna just have a password that prevents the average users from seeing this kind of stuff, that's pretty simple to set up. Now, before we get started, a couple of things. Even if you don't want to get my full security seminar where I teach you how to properly lock your database down, at least go watch my simple security video. This is a free one. And it teaches you how to do things like hide the navigation pane so your users can't go and poke around on all your forms and stuff. At least watch this one, this free video. Then go watch Intro to VBA if you've never done any programming. We're going to need a couple of lines of code to set up a password. Okay, so go watch this. Don't be scared of VBA. About 20 minutes long, it'll teach you all the basics. You're going to have to know if then, how to write an if then statement, right? If the password is right, then do this. So go watch this one. You're going to need to know what variables are because we have to store that password somewhere. We're going to store it in memory in something called a variable. Go watch this if you don't know what those are. And finally, if you don't know how to use message box, go use this. This is like the little cousin of input box. Input box lets you type in text, okay? Message box just gets a yes or no response, for example. All right, and it's easier to program. Go learn this first if you don't know how to use this. All right, then come on back. Okay, so did you get all that? You watch all those videos? All right, we're all on the same page now. Okay, so this is the Tech Help Free template. If you watched all those videos, you know what this is, right? You can go grab a copy off my website if you want to. Okay, let's say in addition to your main menu, you've got a super secret manager menu. All right, so I'm just going to copy this guy, copy, paste. All right, this will be the manager menu F. Okay, and we'll edit you, design view. We'll change this so it says... Uh, Manager menu. Remember, we do it over here in the caption property, not on the label itself. That way the label doesn't resize. All right? Nice little trick there. All right. We'll change some colors around. We'll make this dark red. We'll make the background a dark red. And then we'll go even darker. More colors. Get over here. We'll go really super dark. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'll get rid of this date. And we'll change these labels up a little bit. This will be uh, super secret manager stuff. This one will be uh, employee payroll. And this one will be, I don't know, CEO's diary. Okay. So this is the stuff that you don't want your end users seeing. Just your managers, just the people who you give the password to. All right. Now, right now, that's why it's important for you to lock this thing down. All right. You got to, you got to. Close that, hide it, whatever you got to do for my simple security, right? Because if they can come in here and just open stuff up, well, there's your manager menu, okay? So let's drop a button on here to open up that manager menu, copy, paste, right? And I'll stick that there, and we'll call this the manager menu, and we'll give it a good name, manager button, let's call it, and bold it, and let's make it red so it looks like the rest of them. Okay, there's the manager menu. All right, so now this guy... Build event, okay, do command, open form, manager, menu, F. Okay, now, but wait a minute. Why, we're just going to open that form? Really? You don't want to ask for a password or anything in here? Well, yeah, yeah, we're going to, but we're not going to get the password here. I'm going to get the password when the form opens. When the form opens. So we'll save this, that's okay. Let's go to your design view and go to the forms properties. 
right? We're going to click right here where that little box is, where the ruler bars meet, go to events. Now there's on load and on open. The benefit of on open over on load is that on, on open can be canceled. See that cancel right there? And in here is where we're going to put our password stuff. So first we need a variable to hold the password that the user types in. Okay, so dim s as a string. Then we're going to say s equals input box. Now the input box takes a bunch of stuff. The only stuff I really care about is the first two items, the prompt and the title. And you don't have to put the title in there, but then it just says Microsoft Access. All right, so we're going to put enter manager password in as the prompt. And then just maybe password in as the title. Now, default is a default value you can start it with. In this particular case, we're not going to start it with something. But maybe if you're entering in, like, you know, you're, you're asking the user, you know, what's the, the person's uh, first name or something. You could default it to something like Rick, okay, or what the existing first name is, that kind of stuff. X position, Y position, help, file, context. We don't need any of that stuff. You can control where the... You know, where the input box appears on the screen, and you can specify a Windows help file. Now, nah, don't worry about all that stuff. All right, so just these two things for now. Now, if the user hits cancel, that's going to return an empty string. All right, S will be an empty string like that. All right, just so you know for future reference. But I don't care if it's an empty string. All I care about is if it's equal to my password or not. So what do you want the password to be? I don't know. Let's 599CD for now. Okay, so we're going to say if S is not... 599CD, that's my password, then do some stuff, okay? And if it is the password, it'll just exit out and the form will continue loading, okay? So what happens in here is if they type in something other than the password, all right? We're going to say a message box, wrong peasant, right? And then comma VB critical, and then uh, be gone. Okay, we all know how to use the message box. Now, here's the important part. Say cancel equals true. Yeah, I know cancel's an integer, but I always refer to cancel as true or false. It'll be negative one or zero. It works just fine. Basically, access is looking for zero or not zero. Okay, but cancel equals true just makes more sense. Okay, and then at this point, we're going to exit the sub. And you really technically don't need this because cancel, when this thing exits anyways, is going to close the form. Well, not open the form. But just in case later on you put more stuff down here, that's why I put the exit sub in there. Okay, so save it. Let's close that, close that. And now I'm just gonna try opening it right from here. Okay, enter manager password. If I hit cancel, oh, wrong peasant, nothing opens. See, do it again. All right, type in some whatever. Wrong peasant, be gone. Okay, but if I type in the right password, there's my form, see? So yeah, in this particular case, even if you don't have this thing hidden, as long as you are giving your users an ACCDE file, an encrypted file to run, and not an ACCDB file, right? Then they can't get into your design and they can't see what your password is, all right? And if you don't know what an ACCDE file is, you didn't watch my simple security video like I told you to, so go back and watch that, all right? You give your users an encrypted front end. And remember, every user gets their own copy if you're on a network. You don't want to run the front end in a shared folder, right? Everybody gets their own. And that way, no one can get in here. Now, technically, all you really have to do is just put that code that I gave you in any form that is sensitive. All right, so this on open stuff, right there, right? Just put this in any form that you don't want them to have to open without the password, okay? And that will do it for the most part. Now, can you set up different user accounts? Yeah, of course. That's what I cover in my security seminar, the full one. That's, that's, there's a few steps involved in that. And then I show you how to set up user groups and stuff. So you can say only, man, only people in the manager's group can open these forms. But this is a basic, simple password to let people in certain areas of the database. Now, one thing I do have to mention here, though, if you open it from the main menu with our button, Okay, if you type in the password, it works just fine. But I'm going to slide that over. Let's get this both open. Now, but one problem, if you do come in here and hit cancel, you're going to get that. Open form was canceled. Why? Because if you hit debug, 
This line actually is gonna is gonna cancel because the open form event was canceled. So you're gonna have to throw in here an on error resume next. Because if they do hit cancel, you don't want that error popping up. Okay. If you want to learn more about on error resume next, guess what? I got a video for it. Go watch this one on, on error handling. Okay. That just basically says if any error happens with the next command or commands, then just ignore them. Okay. And now if you come in here and try this and the user hits cancel, you don't get the error message. You still get, you still get told to be gone, peasant, but <laughs> okay. Now at this point, everybody always asks me, well, what if I got nosy Nancy sitting next to me and I don't want her seeing my password when I type it in? Can you mask that? Can you have it echo stars like on a bank website? Yeah. Sure. That involves a little more coding, and I will show you how to do that in the extended cut for the members. We're going to make our own little password form and a password open form function, and we'll have it so that not only does it echo stars, but once you log in as a manager, it's, you stay logged in, so you don't have to keep entering it. And any form that requires that will just automatically let you in now. If you want to learn more about the input box function, I cover that in my Access Developer Level 3 class. Everyone always says, well, why do you have all these videos? i got to bounce around and watch all this different stuff. Well, because they're tech help videos. In my full Access Developer course, I teach you stuff in order. Level 1, Level 2, Level 3, and there's no bouncing around. You just learn it in the order you're supposed to learn it. And once again, if you really want to learn how to lock down your database and set up proper user security with user levels and groups and all that stuff, Watch my security seminar. All right, it's very detailed. You can make a system log. You can track who has access to what. You can set up groups and permissions, all that kind of stuff. But if you want to learn this, this little guy, right? Come check out the extended cut for the members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. There's lots of them now. It's like 300 and some now. And uh, gold members can download these databases and have access to my code vault and get all kinds of cool extra stuff like a free class every month. There's all kinds of cool things you get as a member. So check it out, and if you have any questions, post them down below. I hope you learned something today, and I'll see you next time. How do you become a member? Click on the Join button below the video. After you click the Join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class each month, and more. Gold members get access to download all of the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. You'll also get a higher priority if you decide to submit any tech help questions to me, and you'll get one free expert class each month after you finish the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus even higher priority for tech help questions, access to all of my full beginner courses for every subject, and one free developer class each month after you finish the expert classes. These are the full length courses found on my website, not just for access too. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, and lots more. You can now become a diamond sponsor and have your name or company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown in each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Make sure you click the Show More link down below the video to find additional resources and links You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Even if you don't want to become a member, feel free to donate to my tip jar. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got puppies to feed. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over four hours long, and I just updated it for 2021. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below that you can click on. And also, if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. 
Yep, that's all. One dollar. And it's free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level, even supporters. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page on my website. You can send me your question there. While you're on my site, feel free to stop by the Access Forum. Lots of good conversations happening there. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Ross. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.